What up, y'all? I'm Steve with Elevate, and this is Teresa, the lovely Elevate Warrior. So today, what we got going on is a really cool uh, project. Um, I get to work with Teresa. She's she's done uh, some veteran stuff in the past and helping us fight a really awesome battle now. And you know, with our with all of our stuff in Elevate, and the real cool one I like is the Elevate Veteran Program that I get to to be a part of with you. And so today we got some really cool things. It's been happening and we got a really cool, a lot of cool donations here. Yeah, yeah. So um, we do these first Saturday events where the, the professional glass blowers get together and they make these things and then they donate to Elevate Veterans. And so if you're ever looking for a way to support a veteran organization and you really don't want to give your cash, you can also make purchases. So like your donation of $90 would get you this right here, this lovely, you know, pipe that you could use or put on your shelf as, as a keepsake. So yeah, we really love that. Um, we're just look, trying to look for new innovative ways to, um, get money into our nonprofit so that we can give more glass blowing lessons, more, um, vehicles and more access to alternative therapies to other veterans that qualify and their families. Right. We, cause the reality is we are doing it. I will say mostly she is doing, uh, elevate veterans, uh, on her own, on her own. And so there's a lot of help. There's a lot of, uh, volunteers. We do get uh, veteran volunteers and non-veteran volunteers that have, uh, have helped out with this. Um, and, uh, some of the biggest ones right now are these, uh, glass pullers that are coming in, donating their time, uh, elevate premier donates the, the gas and glass. And then, um, these things are, are, are produced and, uh, it helps get money because we, we only got so much to do and we got time and, you know, we need help and, um, to get that help, it costs money. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it, it's really neat that these blowers uh, came in and, and, uh, donated some time. And, and I think that was the other thing you donated your time. We made pizza that day for them. And, yeah. and, uh, we, you know, we used our time and our money to, to do that. And so it's a really neat thing. It, it's great relationship building community thing. Um, and that day, uh, we do, we give lessons. If you're a veteran and we got space, you can come on in and we'll get you a on there as well. Yep. It's a lot of, it's a ton of fun. So. It is. And, and on this particular day, this was for our veterans, um, day event. And we had nine blowers make some things. Um, one of them that you see is not here because it's sold already. So that's super exciting. So let's dive into these and, and find out a little more about the blower and what's going on. So it looks like we have some sort of, um, Christmas ornament. Yep. So this is, uh, by Danny Nyberg and, uh, the glass parrot and, uh, go check him out. And this is what I think he calls a, a, one of those old German ornaments or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, it's got a hole in here and you put a little, uh, maybe clamp in there or something and then hang it and you can hang it on your tree. Uh, it could be even a little car thing, something sure, like that to hang in your car mm -hmm. or window or a thing. That's really, really awesome though. Um, and what we have here is this is a, like a Raticillo pattern. So he started with a red and then put white over it, spun it. This okay. right here is a whole bunch of uh, color laid over it and then you heat it up and then you turn it. Like there's a lot of work in this thing and you can get it for uh, 80 bucks. So it's uh, really neat. Yeah, yeah. I've, really I've never um, you, seen a lot of glass ornaments, but they're always, you know, I'm always afraid to touch them. Mm -hmm. And this one's really sturdy. So if you have cats or I call them asshole ninjas or dogs or, or you have a really sturdy tree, this would be good for that. Yep. Yeah, that would be good. That's a good heirloom um, purchase right there that could pass on for generations. Absolutely. And then so our next one, this is my favorite one. Well, not my favorite as far as, you know, the design you, and you the artist, unicorns. but unicorns are my favorite thing. And so this came in the mail from Jim Glass along with some other products from her. And so let's hear about her. Yeah, so uh, Jim, uh, I got to introduce from her. Um, she's not in Colorado, but she's been great to introduce to, to, to get to know. Right. Um, she's got an elevated eight out there, so go check that out. And so does Danny. Um, and then, uh, but on this pipe anyways, uh, you know, she's a really good sculptor, um, really detailed, and she was able to really nail out a uh, 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 unicorn here on the pipe. And then, so what this is, this is called uh, line tubing, which she hand makes, uh, opens up some clear, draws straight lines in there, and then pulls it down into this. And uh, so there's a lot of work that goes into this. And so thanks a lot, Jim. Um, yeah. Go check her out. And uh, just really, 
really clean piece. Really, really neat. Really, really neat. Yeah. It's... And there's a couple more character pieces that she can, that it, that y'all can get. Yep, and... there sure are. Yep. There sure are. There's a, there's a few of them and they're all on our website, elevateveterans.com. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, with her, she didn't get to come and eat and choose from the glass that we have at the studio. So she did all of this, you know, in her studio in Missouri and then mailed it to us. So thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Um, yep. And go watch her video and follow her on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. This next one is from my favorite artist and that ah. is SSV Steve here. And so, yeah, tell us about this one. This one is super cool. So this is, uh, like. I really love fume work. So what we've done in here is we fumed it with gold and silver. So this will be the color changer. And that's kind of like got what me into glass or the love of glass. Oh, wow. Surfers, what got me into it. And then we got a little window here, uh, which I call trippy tech. And in between each color, uh, it's easier to see in the little magnifiers or warts, they call them, but uh, magnifiers are good. And uh, like from back here, I can see this and it's a lot of color in there. Wow, uh, when you like look close, it almost looks brown or something mm -hmm, because right. there's so much color in there. Uh, but it's it, so there's like 10 lines of color. Anyways, uh, yep, I just did what I like to do. And that's fume thick glass. Right on. And Steve is the co-founder of Elevate Veterans here. And so not only does he help run it from behind the scenes, but he also donates his time and efforts and money into this, as well as the Elevate Premier donates their time um, to come there. They donate the glass for the artist. Um, they donate um, half of the cost of the glass blowing classes. So Elevate Premiere, where this stuff was done, is, is, is fantastic to us. So thank you, Elevate Premiere and Steve. And then this is um, another female artist called Lyric Glass. And she is one of our big supporters here too. She she generally will give something to every event. Yeah, she's she's been really awesome. Uh, I, you know, just really quickly out there, uh, another way to support us is uh, with some Elevate doll glass pendants, which Lyric makes. Oh, yes. Um, just really neat how it all came together. You ordered one from her. It was so beautifully done and it looked like our eight and it was like, mm -hmm. this is the Elevate doll pendant. So that was just really neat how uh, life happened and morphed out from that. But uh, yep, she came down, uh, hung out with us, brought this down and uh, it's a tree basically going on there. And it's just, <laughs> Her work is so cool. She hand does all these colors. So the brown is uh, hand done by her. And then all this is just, there's so much work into this. Uh, I'm gonna call it the tree of tree of life pipe. Tree of life pipe. Yeah, that is fantastic. I, I absolutely do. I love that she signs all of her pieces. Yep, she puts a small little uh, L on there and uh, yep. just the, the fluidity of the lines. It's just really beautiful. And uh, this is a really awesome piece. And, you can get that for a hundred bucks and uh, go check her out and follow Lyric Glass as well. Yes, wonderful. And then this, this is from a local um, artist here in Colorado Springs called, D he's Dylan Kelly or Avant Guard. Uh, DBK. DBK. And he started a company uh, with some other help as well um, called Avant Guard, okay. which is next level uh, glass. So it was yeah. really neat that, uh, you know, he's got a, a family, three kids, mm -hmm. uh, studio, uh, yes. line, uh, and he made time. Thank you, Dylan, for coming down. Absolutely. Um, really, I, I wish I would, again, more time to hang out with you. Uh, I was out there cooking pizzas. But uh, I look at this piece and uh, it's really awesome. He came down, used some butter, the color, uh, choices are phenomenal. We got some uh, Amazon there. This is Eric B and Rakim. And then the front here is uh, gold and silver fume. And I just love how the gold on the outside, he didn't burn it. It's just so gold and rich and just like, there's a reason, you know, like he's been doing it for 20 years and it may be a simple pipe, but it's so simple, so beautiful, so clean, so whatnot. So shiny. And, uh, yeah, so shiny. That's the gold and silver in there. And again, you know, thank you to all of them. Go check them out. Go check out Avant Guard and uh, hell yeah. And this is from um, one of our in-house blowers, Sean Otron. He is famous here for the tentacles. So yeah. I'd love to know a little bit more about Sean Otron and what's going on here with this pipe. There's a big eye here. Yeah, this is really, really cool. So this is like your third eye, I think they call it, or the, the blue eye, something. I don't know. Okay. Uh, it's, it's pretty dope on there. Um, obviously, it's also got the, uh, the red, white, and uh, blue theme. And uh, he, mm, yeah. he puts it on, he marbles it. Uh, he's really great at marbling the glass. And then the tentacle right here is not just a tentacle, but it's a 
red, white, and blue uh, ribbon cane in there that he spun up and did up and did all these. And, and there's so much work that goes into these, like even down to the last little ones, you know, it's a dot with a little push in there. So, right. Um, they're textured so perfectly. Yeah. Like I've never um, grabbed an octopus in the wild or anything, but I played with them like at the seafood store. Don't tell the people that bought them afterwards, but you know, you just kind of poke it a little bit. It's in the wrapper, I'm sure, but have you ever done that? Like this feels it. I like it. Anyway, that's Sean and he does work here um, in Colorado Springs at our Elevate premiere um, yeah, studio. And so his work is available all the time. Another thing he helps out with really bigly is uh, he's helped develop and uh, still does the classes that we do. Right. That we absolutely. Give to the, to the uh, veterans, veterans, and uh, regular people out yep. there, and Airbnb, so. and, and anybody that wants to take a class can come take a class. People come and rent space for months, and and so they get to experience the people here as well. Um, and this one we have is um, Adam. This yep. is Adam, and so he's been blowing glass about how long? Uh, about uh, eight months as well. Um, okay. Exposure glass is where you want to check him out. But uh, yep, this is some dot stack, so uh, it looks like he. Um, it's a pendant. Yep, this is a pendant. It looks like he did a blowout here of some red and then put some white dots on there and some blue dots. So you have the American theme going on there, the veteran theme going on. And it's just really, really cool. A nice light pendant. So it's, uh, you know, really, really nice and mm -hmm. feathery and uh, really easy to wear around your neck. Yeah, that would just... And his brother, there. actually, he served as well. His so. brother was an 82nd Airborne um, yeah. soldier. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? So, yeah, yeah he uh, there's a lot of meaning in this for him. Yep. Um, and then we have this one. Um, well, we have one in between this one and this one that I'd like to talk about, and that's Glass by Brick. And that one was a red, white, and blue themed um, butter honeycomb with um, something on the front. And so I would love to know more about him. Um, his piece sold. So we want to say thank you for to him and Absolutely. learn more about him. How long has he been blowing glass? So Brick, same thing. Uh, um, Nick, uh, Glass by Brick, he's been blowing glass for about six to eight months as well. So really, really cool. Um, came in from one of our classes, fell in love. And uh, we were lucky enough to get him on board. Same with Adam. So it's been a really, yeah. the classes are great for that. Um, but yeah, it was really neat. We went to a little event and a guy came by and just kept looking at it. And finally it was like, dude, that's the third time you picked it up. I, you need to get it. And so he picked it up, but it was a, a blood butter piece that he makes. Mm -hmm. And he, he's the, you know, he helps us make the butter. Now he's making pipes. He does the wigwag and it's just, yeah. that's the beauty of all this too. I think I was talking with Sean the other day, just watching the blowers, watching anybody come in and whether it's for you, just seeing you, crash and burn in it and say, this isn't for me, or send crash and burn and say, this is cool, I wanna learn more. Because glass is a crash and burn, you gotta, Absolutely. You gotta fight the paddles and get through it, so. <laughs> and that picture is available on his Instagram or on our website it's on still. Our website. Yep, yeah, it's marked as sold, but if you can get something um, like it made, if you if you want, yep. probably. Yep. Um, and the last one I wanna talk about is from um, Simply Jeff. So Jeff is the manager over at Elevate Premier. And Thank without you, Jeff. Jeff, none of this would be possible. Jeff um, comes from um, a military background, meaning his parents um, were military or his dad or something like that. His but Jeff um, set himself apart and he was a milkman, I believe, and then came to start blowing glass. And now he's one of the greatest glass blowers I know. And so thank you so much, Jeff, for setting yourself apart from the community, but then still giving back. I really appreciate you. So let's hear more from Steve about what yeah. this is. This pendant is amazing. Again, thank you, Jeff. Uh, you know, and it's, I, we talked about the Simply name. It's just, Jeff is always just Simply Beautiful. That's what I call Jeff, Simply Beautiful. <laughs> uh, because like the wigwag in here, it's just so beautiful, so clean. Um, and then how he dialed it in, with everything, it's just, it's pimp. Uh, back here, there's a clear spot so you can actually see through it and see the inside of the wig oh wag. Uh, it's not too big, not too small, mm -hmm. not too thick. So um, it's not too heavy for your neck um, and it's not too thin. So it, you're gonna feel like it's gonna be durable. Just again, it's simply beautiful. It's just simply clean. Like, and so I was thinking this would be a good one for the car too, but keep in mm -hmm. mind, disclaimer, this can crack your windshield if it clings too far. So. so don't clink it too far. <laughs> yep. Let it go too far. Yeah, this is gorgeous. So again, thank you, Jeff. And thank you to all the artists. We we possibly, um, not possibly, but we could not do this without you, without your no, hard work. 
Um, and I know it may seem annoying when I'm asking you all the time, hey, let's have another event every month. But um, just know that it's actually going for the greater good and we're creating a legacy here that will carry on for a lifetime. So um, keep up the good work and thank you so much. And thank you, Steve, for um, building this business for all of these years, for, for some people to call home. All of these people are misfits in some way, including myself. So thank you very much. And thank you for doing everything you do, uh, making this happen, Teresa. It's a really awesome uh, thing. You know, uh, you open my eyes up to, to the whole other side of veterans. And, you know, I've grown up in this town of veterans and military people, but uh, you know, and I went to school with all the kids, but you don't know them. You don't know the stories. You don't know anything about it until yeah. you get to meet them and be a part of something like this. And, you know, there's uh, it's just like anything. You got to get to know people and open your eyes and uh, just open your mind, I guess. Elevate mind, body and spirit and, right. and learn and about your community. It's hard to get to know military kids and military families because they're always moving. And so yeah. they're always acting out in some ways, in my opinion, like it's, it's a different life when you're moving all the time and you constantly have to sell yourself, right? And so to some people that's, that's very annoying. Like if you go to a new school, some people will just sit in the corner, but some people like myself will be like, hey, I'm, I'm here. How do I fit in? Right. And and so I can understand where you're coming from, not having that military experience, but maybe having, you know, like a weird taste in your mouth. Like, I don't understand what it is, but now you kind of, you know, it's it's different. Yeah. It's a whole yeah. different community. So thank you again. And um, yeah, I think uh, this is it for us today. All right. Yeah. So make sure you go check us out on uh, our website, elevateveterans.com. Absolutely. Check out our YouTube. Uh, it's on elevatepresents.com. We haven't started our own YouTube channel, channel there, but we do have a, a playlist that we put everything into for everything there and a lot of cool stuff. And stay tuned. I think our next thing we're going to talk about is psilocybin mushrooms. Okay, yep. About uh, other alternative al therapies. Alternative therapies. And uh, in a lot of states right now, it's not legal, but in Denver, it's actually legal. In Oregon, it is. Uh, and like all natural things, uh, it, it definitely can be bad, used wrong. You know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, arsenic comes from apple seeds and whatnot. Right, and we partnered with a with an organization called SAM Safe Access Market out in, in uh, Washington State that actually has been educating and microdosing um, veterans on psilocybin. And so we have a ton of information ready to throw you away. Yep, so it's stay tuned for that. Yep. And thanks a lot for your time, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Elevate.